So say what you want about James Charles, but at the very least, he is incredibly resilient. Because after losing 3 million subscribers on YouTube and being ridiculed all over the internet, all the signs pointed to him being down and out for the count. Even his apology video failed to stop the bloodbath. Do you want to defend me? And oh. me to go off on comments. But I ask that you don't. This is my... Why? 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 But what does this prince of fashion do? Does he stay down while his opponent Tati reigns victorious? Oh no. Instead, James Charles shows us exactly why he became the prince in the first place. And he gets up and comes out swinging. Down! Down! Stay down! Follow no one he was straight. His arms in the air. And this tweet got almost half a million likes before it was deleted. In her defense, she did later on say that it was only one message, but it was way too long because the media had already read with it saying that it was Colossal Australia and can't believe it! I don't care whether you agree with them or not. You've got to remember that even though Tati may have kickstarted his career, this is a guy who is a mega fashion mogul who has maintained a following of millions from all around the world and isn't even 20 years old. In the wise words of the great comedian Bill Burr, how many lifetimes do you need to have a career start like that? He has easily had the best beginning of anyone at his age wanting to get into the fashion industry or just become an internet personality, on top of dealing with the millions of other trolls who are constantly trying to bring him down for his reprehensible behavior. Fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. Tati, on the other hand, is like a queen who after seeing a charismatic young boy prodigy decided to raise him as one of his own and nurture him into becoming a future prince, but then began feeling threatened as his talents and popularity rose to the point where she decided to betray him in front of all the people and then cast him out to the woods like a leper. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating things just a little bit, but regardless, James Charles is showing everyone that he is not going down quietly. This is just round one, and I can imagine there's gonna be plenty of things left to be said. Or maybe not. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest.